Hello everyone! Welcome back to the Let's Play Super Mario World. We're done with the normal levels and we finished the special levels. So now let's go take on Bowser and his castle. I'll take Star Road since it will be significantly quicker than going along the overworld. I already showed the palace swap overworld in the previous video when I did that, when I showed the up-tempo thing. Okay, so we are at Bowser's front door. Now Bowser's castle has two rooms, each containing four doors, and you have to go through those doors to progress. So I'm going to show each of the what's behind each of the eight doors because I wouldn't feel like I'm doing a complete LP otherwise. But that means I'm going to have to suicide in order to go back to the beginning to show the other doors. So. If it looks like I'm dying a lot, it's intentional. Yes, I meant to do it. Alright, hurry up, Mario. Go through doors 1 and 8. Yeah, this way I can walk the same distance each time. Alright, these guys will jump at you. Okay. There we go. Careful now. Hurry up, hurry up. Whoa, careful. Now, if you know they're gonna jump, then they're easier to avoid. Hey, guys. Okay, I'm gonna suicide now. There we go. Boing, suicide. Okay, we'll go back to the beginning and show the other doors. Since there are two sets, each of four doors, oh, four times four equals 16. So I'm not, yeah, like I said, I'm not gonna show each possible permutation, but I will show what's behind each of the eight doors. There we go. Now this one, if you're quick enough, Alright, good. Looking alright so far. Hit you, hit you. Watch out for these fireballs too. It may not look like they're gonna hit you, but they seem to have pretty wide hitboxes. There you go, you can get a 1-up. So if you're really screwing up a lot, you can at least make up some of the difference by collecting those 1-ups. Or the V 1-up in there. Now we'll go through door 7. Careful of the fireball. Alright, there we go. Alright, these gold guys I think are more of a threat than the silver ones. Alright, get over there. There we go, hurry up. Get going. Whoa, yeah, I almost fell off the edge. Okay, there we go, this should be safe now. There we go, N simple. A little bit challenging, but not too bad. There we go, suicide again. Disco ball. All right. Well, four doors down. Four to go. Yay. All right. Yeah, yeah, go in there. I've already seen you open a door. I've already seen you open this door twice. Door three. I used to hate this one because I didn't know my way through here. I knew that the little things with holes in them mean you can pass through them, but I didn't have the path through there memorized, so I hated that one. But once you know the path, it's really easy. Now for door six. This one's pretty hard. This one, one of the, this is one of the toughest ones in here. Maybe the toughest. I don't know. It might depend on your opinion and how well you handle water levels. But this being a water level, you know it's going to be a bit of a challenge. Okay. Now these spikes look to me like they're cones. I'm saying that based on the shading. The shading makes it look to me like they're cones. Uh, I'm not going to mess with that. But they're not cones. Uh, or maybe they are, but if you hit it from the side, like not the pointy end, if you hit one of the other ends, it will hurt you. And that doesn't make sense to me. I'm like, well, you know, it looks like a cone. Why would that part of it hurt me? I could understand the point of the cone hurting me, but I couldn't understand the rest of it hitting, like the rest of it hurting me. Why would that be? But that's how it is. Okay, float here because I'm safe-ish in this hit position. Okay, now get ducked down here. Ah! See, I'm too floaty here. Okay, wait for this thing, wait for this thing. Now go. If I had been floating around so much, I would have been able to duck under that ball and chain and then wait for it to pass over me, then keep swimming, and I would have made it. But no. Well, not like it matters, since I'm going to suicide here anyway. 
there we go. And that's quicker than jumping into lava by like a second or two. Front door. Okay, now four doors. Four and five. Run all the way to the end. Come on, Mario. Yeah. Wow, I'm up to five minutes already. Oh, five minutes and then some. Okay, so this one's more platforming oriented. Yeah, jump off of that one, otherwise you're gonna fall off of that one. There we go, and don't land, yeah, careful with your landing. Because if you land next to these guys, they're gonna shift over slightly and end up hurting you and you'll be like, well, dang it, I landed on top of him, but no! You know, instead I landed next to him and then he killed me. Okay, this one, I count the spikes on the left side of this thing. One, two, three. Like the spike that Mario's nose is close to right now. All right, there we go. A little hesitant right there, but I made it. So if you know when it's safe to go, then you can go safely. Yeah, we'll get some light going on in here. Jump on you. Make this jump. And there we go. All right, grab the Mecha Koopa. There we go, you can throw this guy around. There we go. All right, they're all gone now. Oh, I wanted to carry him through this last door with me. Wow, six minutes. Okay, let's see if I can do this here. Ooh, it's all thundery. Hey, what's that? What's that? I haven't seen this clown before. Oh my god, it's Bowser! Maybe if I hide behind this thing, he won't see me. Wow, Mario, you look like you have a really long nose when you duck. I mean, look at that thing. There we go. Bam. Alright, we got him there. Oh, good, that wasn't... I didn't make any kind of embarrassing mistakes there. Yeah! Oh god, fire! There we go. Look out! There we go. Help me! Alright, good. Now I can afford to take another hit. Alright, this time he'll follow you around. If you stay in one area, he'll stay in that area with you. And look out for these things. You can jump up, but you'll hit his propeller. Oh, I was dumb. I was dumb right there, you know? You can jump over the things. Look, it's this simple. Why didn't I not do that before? Oh, because I'm saying, oh, look, I'm going to illustrate what not to do. I'm gonna be a smartass. All right, here we go. Uh, if you hit the bottom of it, then the Mecha Koopa will be gone, and you'll have to wait for him to throw out more of them. All right. Spin jump. Yeah, do spin jump over those things, because if you miss, at least you'll still be able to land on it and do that. Stop illustrating things. Just beat Bowser. There you go. Throw out your Mecha Koopas. Alright. There we go. There we go. Uh, you know what? Get rid of you. I don't want you around here. Oh, be careful of the fire, Mario. There we go. Okay, I'm safe. I want this mushroom, though. There we go. Okay, final phase. And this time, he's pissed. He's like, alright, I'm gonna chop you to ribbons with my propeller. There we go. He's gonna throw some more. What was that? What was that? Ugh. Alright, wait, I can pick it up. There we go. Did I get him? Oh, almost. Alright, throw out some more. At least he's being generous with these things. There we go, right in the kisser. Princess! Bye, Bowser. The sad clown balloon thing. Oh, it would look better if they were centered, but no, they have to be off to the side. I guess it looks okay. Mario's adventure is over. Mario, the princess, Yoshi, and his friends are going to take a vacation to Delfino Island. Oh, fireworks. Woo, 
Ooh, they're pretty. And the little sparkles are the same color as the Yoshis. Red, yellow, green, blue. Why are there gray ones in there? Well, I guess those, like, those rainbow Koopa shells. Ooh, a heart-shaped rainbow. Oh, isn't that nice? Well, I'm over 10 minutes here, so I don't know how or where I'm going to cut this. Maybe here.